I want to talk about alms. And you may say to me, what is alms? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Alms. Money or food given to poor people. And you may say, hey, Kevin, you know, I have bills, you know, I have kids, I have a husband, wife, mother, father, aunt, uncle, <laughs> sister, brother, so on and so on. Yes, I understand that. I understand that. But while we are on this earth, we are judged based upon what we do and what we say and what we think. Or should I say what we contemplate on? So we get rewarded more in heaven if you get to heaven based upon our life here. Does that make any sense? So the more that you do for people, the more that you minister to people, so on and so on, the more that you are going to get rewarded in heaven. Nothing you do on this earth is in vain. Nothing. Nothing. Everything is being written down. Everything. So you may say, well, you know, I don't have money, Kevin, because I want to buy this brand new car, you know, which is okay. Buying what you want is okay, but we have to be focused with other people. And you may say to me, well, if they would work as hard as I, they would have the same things. And you may be right about that. But as you already know, everyone is not the same. Everyone can't work as hard as everyone else. Everyone is not as smart as everyone else. Everyone does not have the same capacity as everyone else. So what you say has truth in it, but in the aspect of God, what you are saying means nothing. God is the judge. If people are taking advantage of others, God is going to curse them. So you have nothing to worry about. I pray that makes sense. You win either way when you give to people. There is no way that you can lose. Even if the person that you are giving to is using you or they are able to work, but they choose to chill and they have their hand out. So let's go to Matthew chapter six, verses one through four. So we are going to learn about alms. Well, a portion of it. Give me a second, please. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. So this is saying when you help others, don't go out and tell everybody, hey, I am this good person. I have helped 1,000 people out there, poor people, you know, give me fame, put on the cameras, give me credit for what I have done. No, when you do things for people, don't try to get credit for it. If someone tries to give you credit for you doing good to others, tell them no, like, hey, Give credit to God, not me. Does that make any sense? So take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Don't do things to be seen or to be liked or whatever else. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. So if you are doing things to get credit for it, God is not going to give you a reward for what you have done. As I stated earlier, everything we do on this earth that is good, we are going to be rewarded for it if you get to heaven. Of course, we are going to reap what we sow on this earth as well. I pray that makes sense. Verse 2, Therefore, when thou doest thy alms, do not sound a trumpet, 
before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men verily i say unto you they have their reward so like so verse 2 is pretty much saying the same thing as verse 1 stop trying to get credit for doing good for people stop posting it on youtube or going around and printing things up hey you know i have been helping 40 million people and give me a reward or give me a crown for doing good you know you you need to bow down to me because i have been doing so much good for people stop trying to be seen or stop trying to get famous or more views for doing good to people this is what this is saying does that make any sense All right. Verse three. You know, there are some people that are at the church or at other other organizations where they try to get credit for what they have done. Don't be that way. Verse three. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. So everything is pretty much saying the same thing. Do things in secret. But usually when you do good for people, others are going to talk about it anyways. <laughs> so, but try to do things in secret. Don't try to make it known to everyone that you are this person that gives and everyone should bow down to you and and say hey thou art great kevin or something like that no first four that thy alms may be in secret see do things in secret give to people in secret hey you know i have seen you or i have notice that you don't have enough food so let me buy you some food and you don't have to tell anyone about that keep it between you and that person don't tell your mom and your dad and your friend and your cousin and stuff like that no okay and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly so you will not only get rewarded in heaven if you go, but you get rewarded on this earth as well. So you can't lose. You cannot lose. So what is alms? Alms is pretty much helping people that are in need. This is what we should be doing. And stop saying, hey, Kevin, you know, I got kids, you know, I got this, I got that. We all have bills, man. We all do. But you can give something. You can help a person in some way. It does not always have to be money. It can be your time. Everything counts when you help people because God sees it. And we are here for other people and not for ourselves, per se. So keep this in mind. God bless.